RTS Pro has a number of options for selecting features in various ways and then modifying the associated data attributes. So first off, let's go click on the map tab uh, and switch from explore mode and go into select. And so I'm going to select, let's do a rectangle selection. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just draw a simple box. So you can see I've got a number of items here that are selected. Let's go ahead and click on the attributes button and we can see that also on the right hand side. So if you notice here, you can see that these uh, various features that have been selected are being grouped by the feature class. And so I've got wires, a number of wires there. I've got a couple of meters under the bank feature class, and I've got a pedestal under station. Notice also that in parentheses next to each of those feature classes is the number of features that are selected. So in this case, I've got five, five wire uh, features that are selected. So another thing we can do is, let's say we made our initial selection, but there was a couple more wires that we wanted to add to it. If you hold down the shift key and then draw a rectangle around the additional wires, it's going to, to add those two wires to the selection. So we have the existing uh, features that were selected and then these two additional wires. But what if you wanted to take one of those out? You can do that as well. So I'm going to hold the control key now this time, and I'm going to draw a rectangle and just remove one of those wires. So uh, to kind of repeat that, the shift key and then drawing the rectangle adds to the selection like I did just there, or control key and then select uh, a rectangle, we'll do that. So it actually takes out that particular item from the selected set of features. Uh, at any time, you can also just do a right click uh, and in a blank area in the map and say clear. So that's just a quick way of being able to clear the selection. Uh, you can also just uh, draw a rectangle if you want to as well, or whatever selection tool you have and have. If you draw it in a blank area, it'll clear out the selection that way as well. So let's take a look at uh, some other things you can do. So let's uh, get the attributes window involved. So in this case, I've got uh, several of these wires selected. And let's say I only wanted to select uh, three out of four of those. If I click on the first one and then shift click, it'll select and highlight just those particular items. So these are highlighted. And now from there, I can right click and I can say only select this. That'll make all the other selected features go away and just my highlighted items are then left. Uh, another thing we can do too is if you have a whole bunch of items selected and then you click on one of these and you say only select this, or excuse me, unselect, then you can just remove uh, an item from the list. And you can do that one at a time or you can do that in groups as well. Let's, let's do a group here and say, I really only wanted to be working with the wires, so I want to unselect the uh, the meters. So that gives me just the wires left. Uh, let's do another selection here. Another thing you can do too is you can uh, select the an entire group of features by the feature class. So if I wanted to select all of the wires that are here that are listed right here, I can click on the wires, and it doesn't show that here. In the, in the listing, but it's actually selecting all of these wires. And so if you happen to notice too, let me click on a few of these. Um, some of them don't have a, a district selected and uh, maybe we want to modify that so that, that those all have a consistent district. And so, so if I want to, I can do bulk modifications of the data. So, so think about the different ways we just used to be able to select features and you can get it to the point where it's just exactly what you want just by drawing and selecting and using some of the other tools. Uh, so now let's say you want to change something. So I can also, I can just go and I can click on single items, of course, just like you've probably done many times and this change something like a district, or I can click on, you know, several of these or highlight several of these. And then in bulk, I can change these all at one time. So I can go in here and change these all the district 11 if I want to. So same with using um, the uh, feature class selection as well. So if I want all 13 of those to be changed at one time, I could just click up there and I can change that to, let's say I change that to this other district. And so that would 
to do another bulk method where I don't have to actually highlight all of these. But if you look at these now, they're now all in District 21. So I'm just going to go change those back here. So going back to 11. So that's uh, you know an example of being able to do a, a single kind of bulk type of a updating of data. If I wanted to, I could have also done multiple changes to data, so it doesn't have to be just a single field. It does have to be within a single feature class in order to make changes because these actually change, these attributes change based on the uh, feature classes that are actually selected. So you can see that uh, these look a little bit different compared to when I click on uh, the wires. And so, but kind of the key takeaway is being able to do bulk changes by using all the various selection tools that are available to you.